This episode is brought to you by Flying Eyes. Stick around later in the episode to find out how to get 10% off. So with Oshkosh always releasing new aircraft, this is the one that wins the award for the Dead Grass Award. We have more people circling this throughout all of Oshkosh than any other airplane I've seen around here. It's a brand new release from Vans RV aircraft called the Vans RV-15. All right, so one of the really interesting things about this uh, vertical step is that this entire control surface moves. And what that does is that allows you the ability to actually uh, have a lot more pitch authority, particularly at slow air speeds. Uh, so be really interesting to see what that does to the slow speed stall characteristics when you're in those uh, backcountry type environments. So this tail was pretty interesting because it's designed specifically to give you the correct camber based off of uh, whatever tail wheel you have. So if you have a small tail wheel like this, that's fine. But as you want to adjust it, so you want to put a baby bush wheel on it, you can actually just uh, turn a jack nut right there uh, and increase or decrease your camber so, camber so that your aircraft is pointing the direction that you want it to be. It's a really interesting design that Vans has uh, come up with. Uh, we'll see how it works when they actually start flying it. This aircraft's really designed to be built for people who want to fly in the backcountry. Traditionally, Vans has built aircraft that are fast, that are aerobatic, and this is a very far departure from that. High wing, slow stall capability, uh, and so if you want to go in the backcountry, you want to bring a lot of stuff with you. And so you have this baggage door combined with a lot of space behind that second seat in order to bring a couple mountain bikes or whatever equipment you need to go on a backcountry trip for a week. So these flaps have garnered a lot of attention because these flaps are currently set at 50 degrees. Uh, this aircraft specifically is one of the, it, it's the engineering prototype. And so what they're doing is they're putting it at 50 degrees to see what the flight characteristics are. There's no guarantee that that's going to be what comes in the final production, but it is interesting to see. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see what they come up with their engineering design and what the final solution is going to be for their flap settings. So landing gear on the RV-15 is pretty unique. In fact, it's a proprietary design that they've come up with. So it kind of looks like a, a regular steel, uh, like a spring steel type landing gear, but you actually have a couple of uh, uh, oil uh, struts in the back end that will help give it seven inches of articulation, and each one will be independent on the different tires. So Vans is actually looking at patenting this design. It has, uh, with these struts here and the unique design, uh, it's never been done before. It'll be really interesting to see in flight tests, uh, operation tests, how well it actually works in a true backpack. So one of the things about Vans aircraft is normally they're known for being fast and efficient. Your traditional RV-8 with right speed mods can go close to 200 miles an hour at about eight gallons an hour. And one of the ways it accomplishes that is very low drag. So the traditional RV aircraft have a flush mounted rivet that takes quite a bit more time to install. In this aircraft, they're not worried about speed as much, although it is going to be a fast aircraft for the stole type of aircraft. This one actually has rivets that stick out a little bit. That's gonna increase drag a little bit, but what it does is it allows the build time to be significantly reduced because these rivets are a lot easier to install. All right, so obviously one of the great things about experimental aircraft is you can do whatever you want to it. So you can put whatever type of engine you want inside of the aircraft, assuming it'll fit. This, they've decided to put in IO390, producing about 215 horsepower, uh, which should be enough considering how light of an aircraft it is to have it really perform pretty well. Overall, this is the Vans RV-15. Looks lots of excitement about it here at Oshkosh and should make for an incredible airplane. So this episode has been brought to you by Flying Eyes. Honestly, these are some of my favorite sunglasses I've ever flown with. They're incredibly durable. Uh, they've got polycarbonate lenses. And if you want to get a pair of these, go to Flying Eye Optics. Check out with code DOZEN and you get 10% off and you help support the channel as well.